project to remove storm debris out of Beaufort County waters is underway. Now, it's taken about a week for crews just to finish their first location on their list, proving it'll be a big job moving ahead. WJCL's Amanda Foster has more from Hilton Head. Paige Jewell is used to staring at the boats in Palmetto Bay. She lives there for the view. But for more than five months, she's been staring at this unwelcome visitor in her backyard. Now, she's ready for it to be gone. Kind of feels like a breakup that is going to be uh, going away, but I'm really excited. After Hurricane Matthew, Palmetto Bay Marina was left full of deserted boats and destroyed docks. Jewel says this one came too close for comfort. I have dreams about it coming through the window and landing in my living room. Now the area is the first of 12 spots being cleaned up by a county contractor, removing those docks and crushing the boats into pieces. Matt Leitner lives in one of those boats. It would have seen the same fate had it not been for a successful GoFundMe page allowing him to rent his own crane. Otherwise ours would probably be getting crushed just like all these other ones are. The crews doing that crushing say in the first few days they haul off more than 40 large containers filled with marine debris. County officials say it's expected to be about 30 to 45 days until they complete all 12 locations. Reporting from Hilton Head, Amanda Foster, WJCL 22 News.